I was hit on Interstate 220 several weeks ago from behind. And uh, the, whoever hit us kept going. And we were, I was just wondering, is there any repercussion that we can receive from this accident? We don't know who hit us. No one, uh, it was reported to the authorities. They say there wasn't any cameras out there on the interstate to see who hit us. But no one ever turned in the accident. They towed out my car. And uh, we, you know, it's just a loss. Is it anything that we can receive as far as some compensation? Thank you for your call, Bobby. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, yeah. that's a bad mm -hmm. situation. I mean, what I would say is that I, I think that he did the right thing by making a police report. And a lot of insurance policies have a pretty short notice requirement, sometimes as short as 24 hours, because if they didn't have that, people might, not saying you're doing this at all, might, uh, you know, run into a fence or a post and then blame it on a hit and run driver that really didn't exist. But Harry, what do you think he can do? There's a difference between a phantom vehicle that doesn't make any contact and I think a vehicle that hits you and then leaves the scene because I think he may have an option with some insurance coverage. What do you think? Yes, he does. Um, as long as there was contact uh, with the vehicle, uh, hopefully he has what's called uninsured motorist coverage. And that coverage will provide in the event that someone uh, as long as contact was made uh, and they leave the scene, he can make a claim on his own insurance policy. And depending, hopefully he's not seriously injured, but if he was or if someone in his vehicle was, there's also an issue of stacking uh, with some other policies uh, in his home. So he, he may have access to some insurance even though the other vehicle fled the scene.